Tickets for arena tickets available for that show. Now, the <clears throat> white night. The matter at hand. The matter at hand is yes. name that tune. Yes, it is. Reverend, could we have those notes again, real quick? Yes, okay. you certainly may. Here they are. Okay. Eight notes. Okay. What's that show? What show TV show is that from? Uh, Two, right. three, nine, ten, ninety-five. Name that tune. Uh, morning, Q ninety-five. Who's this? Kathy Robertson. Kathy Robertson. Can you uh, name that tune, please? It's the Frugal Gourmet. The Frugal yeah. Gourmet. Is someone tickling you? <laughs> what? Is someone tickling you? Can I help? No, this sounds I... like fun. <laughs> we want to come over. Where are you calling really? from? Where are you I'm calling from? The Georgetown Dental Group. No, Georgetown no wonder. Dental Group. They get into yeah. that nitrous. Are you a dentist? <laughs> <laughs> we like to think. So. Are you? Are you a dentist, Kathy? No, I'm an office manager. An office manager. Yeah. I mm -hmm. manage everything. I guess well, you do. You are correct. It is. It's the frugal gourmet. Oh, I'm so excited! I always watch it on Saturday. Okay, do you, we did that today because um, uh, George Lopez, the comedian, is here, and uh, we brought him in from Los Angeles a week early because I have to be in this celebrity chili cooking contest. I figured, oh. who could cook chili better than a man? Buenos nachos. With a name oh, like nice. Jorge Lopez. Do you speak Spanish? Hablas de Espanol? Fajita. Fajita. I think, Barata. Barata. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think she's having a, she's on some kind of a laughing jag. <laughs> she's one of those which called two-word wonders. Yeah, put your ass on the table, okay? <laughs> That's a word wonder. <laughs> we should get you on the show as guest laugher. Yeah, certainly a happy girl here this morning. I'm just so tickled. This just has made my day. Happy you know, really? yeah, good for you. Well, you've made our day. Kate. You've, really? got, you've got a great prize package. I'm, I'm, all I heard was Star Trek IV, and you told me a couple of other you got, stuff. You got... Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. That's the other line. Oh, shoot. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> those are. Those are what is going on here? <laughs> those, are, those are your friends calling to tell you that they heard you on the radio. I know. <laughs> now we have to bring you in here. Do you are laugh you like sitting on a feather? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm just a basket case. I really. I you are. Are you always this oh, cheerful? God. Yes, I'm afraid. So. Really? Are you? Good. Are, are you? Are you married? No. Oh, no. Maybe. No wonder. I, I'll deliver what the. Do you mean? I'll oh, deliver the well, prizes. Because, I mean, <laughs> because obviously you start making out with so he some guy starts making out with all of a sudden you're going. Hee -hee. <laughs> that tickle, stop! <laughs> yeah. You're giggling, you're giggling like you know, There's, you know, there's. My, my mom told my sister there's only one time a woman should never laugh. <laughs> That's when she's with Tom. Yeah. But they can't help it. I've never heard anything That's like great. this. I it's wonderful. Great foreplay jokes, but I can't tell them. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. You we're going to tell take, me in my ear. We're going to take a break wait, and you can tell us, all right? Okay. But first, we're going to hear oh, the, we the theme song. I'm sorry. Piece by Handel from the Water Music. It is a funny piece, isn't it? It's killing. She's dying. Great piece. Is the, is the doctor tickling you there? What's the deal here? That's where I want to work. You know, it really is kind of an insult when somebody's laughing through your rendition. <laughs> play, they're laughing their heads off. Do you do that like at a, at a Bernstein concert? You the opera and laugh? I don't know how it's supposed to sound. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a... Oh, I see. <laughs> I think I've got this figured out. The the doctor she the winner. doctor she works for hires her because she just cheers up the patient so much. She, That's you know, right. I just put them in the state. Just before you give them the bill, you get them in a real good mood. And you go. By the way, <coughs> by the way, here, here you go. go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that root canal. Well, we had to yeah. bring in General Noriega from Panama. So it's an anesthesiologist. Kind of yes. a steep canal. Yes. And a deep one too. <laughs> Oh, well, baby. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. No, you win four free passes to the Indianapolis Comedy Connection. Also, a tour of the town in the Jorge Love Mobile. <laughs> You're laughing now. Yeah. <laughs> you, won't, you won't be laughing when you ask your doctor if he has any doctor friends. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> he around me That's while cool. I was on the phone. That's cool. They were just so excited, they could hardly stand it. Well, well good. good. Well, good. I, the patient in the chair. You did? Yeah. Well, I'm sure. Do, do me a favor, go in there and spit him around real fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dislodge, dislodge a couple teeth. Well, uh, Kathy, congratulations. That's You've great. certainly given everyone in town a, great, a good che good cheer this morning. Oh. You are a very happy person. Oh, there goes There's that line. phone again. Okay. Oh, shoot. What well, time you, when, when, now I'll tell you about picking it up off you the You hold air, on. Okay. We want to hear that joke, okay? We'll oh, <laughs> <lesson>. <laughs> be right back. It's 838. Hills okay. Grand Opening Week. Another list.
loveliest ladies. wrestlers around. It's uh, 844 at 295. Morning. I want hazard pay for this. <laughs> There's nothing yeah, in my contract about being in the same room with a seven-foot snake. I know. Well, uh, oh, it God. is a beautiful creature, isn't it? It's a great snake. Just make mm -hmm. sure he stays away from me, okay? I don't worry about it. <laughs> well, great. It's I got a snake and I've got Linda Blair here with him. Perfect. <laughs> So uh, mm -hmm. that's the that's the charming voice of Luna from the powerful women of wrestling. You're with Bob and Tom on Q95. So Luna, what happened to the voice? Oh baby, it's just a mayhemic wage, and it's all coming down tonight at the Kendall Harmony. Ah, I am the nastiest savage of all. I am one of the powerful women of wrestling. Tell it to them, baby. Tell it to them. <laughs> Charming jewelry you're wearing. I know I often like to go out with women that wear handcuffs. Always comes in handy in case you're, say, having to do a citizen's arrest. Mm -hmm. Also in the studio, we have someone who's so lovely and sweet. She's the country girl, Brandy May. Well, thank you, Bob and Tom. Hi. Hi again. We met you last time you were here. That's right, and I'm mm -hmm. back to bother you guys again. That's oh, all right. it's no bother, believe me. Oh, thank you. If it was a bother, we wouldn't have all the males from our <laughs> station <laughs> crowding at the windows over here. Yeah. Come on, fellas, just go take the salt, Peter. I left it back in the booth for you. <laughs> now, um, you girls are, of course, from POW, the powerful women of wrestling. Um, big match tonight, I gather. That's yes. right. Yes, are you guys going to be there? Um, I'm involved in a chili cook-off, actually. Oh, that's right. You said that men cook chili better than women. Would you like to wrestle over that? <laughs> no, I'd like to wrestle over a mattress. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you might lose. <laughs> there's you no way I lose. Put him in the Boston crab. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Let, let me get my uh, stuff straight here. We have uh, uh, wrestling this evening, indeed, at yes. the uh, at the Tyndall Armory. We'll be out there. And. Uh, and, uh, George, you going to go check that out tonight? check out the wrestling. Okay, great, great. George nice. Lopez, the comedian, right. yeah, 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 yeah. is here with us. Victims are disposable, and we'd just love to have you there. I'll protect you. Don't worry about it. Oh, just be quiet. Just sit there and keep your mouth shut. Let a real woman talk. Oh, a real woman. <laughs> of course, I'll be there covering it from the sports aspect. Uh, of course you uh, are, Chick. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Luna, um, I was wondering, Luna, have you ever seen backups for Stevie Nicks? I just... <laughs> 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 Actually, I sing backups for a band called Nasty Savage, which is bang your head heavy metal. Nothing that you could uh, handle over there. I'm sure I see. <laughs> what do you call the charming serpent in your left hand? Oh, his name is Nave. Nave, yes, serpent. Does he answer to Nave? Oh, yeah, yeah, he does. He's putting his tongue out. I hate oh, that. Here, Nave. I just love a man that knows where to put his tongue, don't you? <laughs> I don't, but, uh, I mean, I know where to put them. Well, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. His tongue is black. <laughs> I could say, do you like that, too? But that would be a cheap joke, and I won't do that one. Good. So let's talk to Brandy again. She's so sweet. Now, Brand Brandy, you're one of the, um, the bombshell blondes. Right, my partner Malibu, who you met before. Yeah. Do you remember? I sure, sure do. do. We, we asked you guys about a tag team match, and you turned us down. Have we been drinking? We're we must have been drinking. Still <laughs> we're still <laughs> disappointed about that. But. I, I am, too. I've got, the, uh, I've got the agenda, if you will, mm -hmm. for this evening. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. uh, let's see, who's wrestling who here? Um, do you know? Oh, here we go. Nina versus Luna. Now, um, she'll, she'll have her hands full on that one. You know she will, you know she will, because I'm here in this town, and clouds of gray have engulfed this day and overwhelmed this town that I'm in. And I just love it when the weather's like this. It's my day, it's my day, Nina's going down, there's no problem. Well, Nina apparently is, because she's not here. She Nina, Nina's, in, here. Nina's in the gym, that's where is she's that right? at, pumping iron, okay, getting the, ready. She needs all the help she can get. Okay. Uh, Brandy, who are you wrestling tonight? Let me see here. You'd probably know better than I would. Here we go. Sasha. Sasha, right. That's the uh, that's Russian. The, the Soviet babe. Right. Soviet babe. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's a nice compliment for yeah. someone like her. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you do a sex test on her so you know that she's a full-fledged woman? <laughs> After seeing no. the Olympics. No. Just some of those uh, Soviet no. women, yeah. I don't know, George, you see those, she, those she, East German women doing the commercials for Crew X? <laughs> <laughs> What was the deal there? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's take a breather. We'll come back and we'll let the uh, the, the ladies from... Do you be proving called ladies, women? Uh, usually women. Girls. Mm -hmm. 
women. Yeah, whatever. Women. Or whatever. <laughs> we <laughs> whatever. can call <cost> women. <laughs> well, we'll be back with whatever. Believe me, it's 856. Listen carefully, because Coconut's music can be you in Indianapolis. You're with uh, Bob and Tom and a host of others, including a live snake. Mm -hmm. How long is Nave? Nave's about five and a half feet long. It's five and a half feet long. And Charming. Really? Are you uh, sure that's not Reagan? <laughs> Um, also in the studio with us, uh, some of the um, young ladies from POW, the professional, uh, the powerful women of wrestling. wrestling. And they have a professional wrestling match this evening at the Tyndall Armory. In fact, we have some tickets to give away to that, so stick around. We'll give those away in the next hour. The girls are going to stick around, of course, for the Dick's Picks Sports Show. Hey, Who'd want to miss it? Somebody told me my ex-wife was here. Luna! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> baby, don't insult me that way this early in the morning. I can get right nasty with you. You just sit there and be quiet. Hey, you're uh, still doing your own laundry, I see. <laughs> Luna is here. Uh, I like the handcuffs around the neck. Yeah. Charming, charming. And uh, also Brandy May is here. Brandy May, of course, the Hello, country girl, everybody. one of the bombshell blondes. Looking That's very right. good. Blue is a good color on you. Thank you very much. That jacket would look great on my bedroom floor. But right now, <laughs> right now we're going to push on with uh, our brand new lifestyle news, which we've decided to call... Uh, I don't remember. Limp, flabby, short, and flaccid news, oh, or I something like that. We're trying to remember. To remember. Okay. Are we ready? What's going on? Yes. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> take two. Well, la, 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 la. <laughs> we should point out that Libby's a little bit frightened. <laughs> Libby's frightened. I'm terrified. She's frightened of this large um, reptile in there. Throbbing in here. Python. Well, I thought you were kidding when you said there was a live snake, and then I jumped up on the chair. I know it was on the floor. That's because I wanted you to know. See, they told me before they came in too. Good. So I had time to brace myself to be terrified. <laughs> well, Los Lobos are up for record and song in the year as well as best pop performance by a duo or group. Also expected to take home Grammys tonight are Michael Jackson, U2, Prince, and Whitney Houston. Grammys are at 8 o'clock on CBS. Olympic favorite Eddie the Eagle Edwards is heading straight for the studio to make his first record entitled Fly, Eddie, Fly. <laughs> <laughs> Connie Chung was in Bloomington on Monday night. She's working on a one-hour special on stress and one of her interview... Ease, Bobby Knight. Oh, my. That'll be interesting. Eddie should yeah. redo that uh, Fly Like an Eagle by uh, Steve, Steve Miller. Miller. Mm -hmm. Ah, good idea. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good idea. Howard Jones opened a vegetarian restaurant named Nowhere in New York yesterday. Monday is the start of National Procrastinators Week, or is that Sunday, or is that next week, or no, I think it is Monday. <laughs> we'll get around to the details later. Yeah, we'll worry about it next Tom, week. this one comes with you in mind, because I know this will get your go. A Christian bookseller has paid the British postal system $88,500 to stamp Jesus is Alive on almost every Every letter that goes through the post office for the next six weeks. The commercial postmark is open to anybody to use if they pay for it. Mm. And mm. California's Board of Medical Quality Assurance wants to revoke the license of Eugene Landy, the psychologist who has been Beach Boy Brian Wilson's companion for the past five years. Landy is accused of drug violations, patient sexual abuse, and grossly negligent conduct. Nice guy. Birthdays and events for this date include George Benson, who is 45, Lorraine Newman is 36, John Bon Jovi, 27 today, Mikhail Gorbachev, 57, guitarist Doc Watson is 65, Dr. Seuss, 84 years old today, Eddie Money is 39, Karen Carpenter would have been 38, and Desi Arnaz was also born on this day in 1917. And finally, a look at the allegedly most popular radio station in the country, according to Rolling Stone's Reader's Poll. Cleveland's WMMS is admitted to buying 800 Rolling Stone magazines and filling out ballots and or passing them out to listeners at promotions to fill out and then send back into Rolling Stone. The WMMS claims they have done nothing wrong in doing this, but Rolling Stone feels differently, and they have decided to drop the best radio station category from its annual readers poll because of WMMS. Oh, jeez. Rolling Stone has reported... Well, they only got a thousand votes to win and 800 of them. They handed the ballots to people with promotions. They paid for the magazine and asked them to fill them out right there. Right. They beat the number two radio station by about 30 votes. Well, the whole oh. thing's a joke anyway. They, they rate uh, uh, San Diego as the best small market in the country. Small market radio is not San Diego, no, California. No, that's more no, of a major market. Now, what really has other Cleveland radio stations bugged by all this is the fact that WMMS may have, and I 
uh, stress may have been using the fact that, that they are the nation's best radio station to help their sales figures mm -hmm. and buys. I don't so, think anybody would be stupid enough to write a Rolling Stone poll where a thousand votes decided. Yeah. No, but they're right. saying sometimes it helps close deals by saying, hey, we're a nationally known radio station. They've won for the past nine years. I wonder <laughs> how. Now we know yeah, how. Now we know why. <laughs> Weather today, rain likely off and on, high of 50. Tonight, more rain possibly mixed with snow, a low of 35, and we continue to be at 40 degrees. All right. And that's it. Excuse that's me, it. one of the female members of our sales staff was coming in and petting the snake. <laughs> Vicky. Vicky. <laughs> Vicky, I didn't know you were into that. <laughs> you think they're cool? Uh -huh. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, wonderful, terrific. terrific. 905 at Q95. <laughs> Wrestler. Oh, maybe I better do that later. <laughs> oh, come on, tell the truth, tell the truth. You enjoy the lunacy. You enjoy every bit of it. Victims are disposable. And, honey, I am the woman that can take you to the lips of lust, to the jaws of death, and you'd like every little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if we barbecue the snake first, I'll consider it. Um, actually, I was thinking of Brandy May, but... Thank um, you, oh, uh, oh, uh, so kissy. Good morning. You're with Bob and Tom, and our guests are from the uh, POW organization, the Powerful Women of Wrestling. And um, these uh, lovely ladies are here with us this morning. Brandy May. Hello. And, uh, and Luna. Yeah, no, what, I know. what, do I make you stutter? I make you really nervous, don't I? You really enjoy all the chains and no. whips and stuff. You're not nervous, you? are you, Tom? Yes, I am. <gasps> not with you, you I thought you were such a man. Well, I am, but I'm the kind of man who's afraid of six-foot serpents. Uh, call me irresponsible, call me unreliable. <laughs> call Except him. I'd like to call you. But just don't call collect. Uh, <laughs> don't call him late for dinner. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm calming down now because I've got this big piece of plastic between you and the serpent and me. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we have a hotline call, Bob. Hold on a second. Uh, morning Q95. Ouch! It's Ouch. Donald Duck. Delbert. It's, it's Delbert. Delbert Duck. Delbert Duck. It's me, Delbert Duck. Yes, we know. We Delbert. recognized your voice, but the girls didn't because they've never heard you before. My snake eats ducks. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Delbert? Yeah. Yeah. I got a couple of jokes for you. A couple of jokes? You don't want to meet the girls? I'm sorry? You don't want to meet the girls? No. <laughs> <gasps> well, maybe Brandy, you'd like to meet Brandy. I'm disappointed, Ducky. Hi, Brandy. Hi, honey. She's the farm. She's, uh, she's used to live on a farm. She's I used the country to have girl. ducks on my farm. Oh, I like no. duckies. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Delbert, I think, Delbert, remember what you did to Linda Vaughn? Yeah. I think you'd like to do that to uh, Brandy May. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. pretty much what I was thinking, yeah. Okay. Delbert, what? You, you, you said you had a couple jokes for us? Yeah. Okay. What is the difference between fish and meat? What is the difference between fish and, and meat? meat? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. If you beat your fish, it dies. <laughs> if you <laughs> beat your fish, it dies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that incredible last night? Did we see That's, That's incredible, incredible last night? Yeah. No, I did not. They had an Armenian with car insurance. <laughs> they had an Armenian with car insurance. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> Delbert? Hey, yeah. Bye. 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 Bye, Delbert. Bye, Freddy. Bye, honey. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you well, scared him. Oh. You scared the ducky away. I'm not worried about it, not at all. Uh, mm, well, mm, charming, yeah, charming doesn't girls. Doesn't she have such a pleasant voice? She yeah. does, doesn't she? Listen to me, Brandy May. Trying to find words to describe me is like using a screwdriver to cut roast beef. <laughs> and you know that, and you see visions of championships yeah. and pinfalls in your mirror, but they'll never be. You dream, but you'll never have your dreams come true. I, I think I'm having a nightmare when I look at you. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, Luna, have some more really outpost. Uh, scary <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Murray. Um, Mur Murray's also here in the studio. This I wanted to announce that we do have uh, some tickets for tonight's performance. I should point out that it will take place at the uh, Tyndall Armory. The Tyndall Armor Armory is on, uh, on Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania right at, uh, mm -hmm. we've been there. It's like 700 block of Pennsylvania. 700 block of Pennsylvania. Yeah. Okay, Tyndall Armory, this, it's this evening. It's right down. And um, among the matches, you will see Luna take on Liberty, and you will see 
Uh, you will see Brandy May take on Sasha. You're, you're wrestling. You're, can I say wrestling? Or is wrestling? That? No, wrestling. Wrestling. Okay, wrestling, sorry. Wrestling. Grappling, okay? Get it right. Not wrestling. <laughs> wrestling is grappling. It's downright dirty, mad action, okay? That's what you're going to see tonight. <laughs> okay. Bitch, bitch, bitch. John? <laughs> 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 um, Brandy May versus Sasha. Luna and, has uh, a new right. book. You and your partner are also involved in another one here. Yes, Malibu will be there tonight with me, the bombshell blondes. And it's... Uh, Essence and Passion, the Thrill Seekers, will be taking on. Yeah. Mm. No they won't. problem. They're going to devastate it. They will be seeking place. thrills when we're through with them. That's for sure. I really, I see. Have you two ever um, wrestled one another? Madison Square Garden. Really? What Madison was the result, may I ask? She did a lot of dirty... She got a chain upside her head and left real quick. <laughs> oh, well, Mike got a game. Isn't, isn't that special? Yes. It's um, like Monopoly at our house. <laughs> uh, Give me that board one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we have a little special treat for everybody right now. Uh, <clears throat> did you watch the Olympics at all? No, I don't care about Greek games. <laughs> How about you, Brandy? That surprises I gotta... me. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy, me, I got a Greek game you may never have seen before. What's um, that? Oh, we'll talk about Tom. it later. <laughs> we do have a special message, however, right now from, uh, well, you'll find out. You know, retirement just wasn't my style, so I began working nights down here as a janitor in this old office building. <laughs> just to keep busy, I guess, because it pays below minimum wage, but... Anyway. Oh, hey, there's the big cheese now. Hey, how you doing tonight? Hey, working uh, kind of late, aren't you? How you doing? Yeah, having a pretty tough night. Yeah, well, <sighs> good night. Good night. Yeah, you, you're going to watch a... Gonna watch the game tonight? Yeah, I'm headed across the street. Free pizza beer night over there. I've had a pretty tough day. I thought I'd just uh, watch the game with the fellows over at the bar. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I'm just going to listen to it on this old radio here. The antenna's kind of shaky. And oh, they got a big screen color TV over there. It's the uh, best picture I've ever seen. Yeah, oh, big screen color. Great picture. I heard it is. Boy, I'd sure like to be there. Well, you know, I got all my work done. And oh, really? You're, you're all done? Yeah, you suppose maybe I could... Well, I'll tell you what, uh... Maybe I, well, I got my BMW in the garage. I got a Blaputnik radio in there. I can pick up the you can drive me anything. Here. No, no. Uh, I'll, tell you what, I'll give you my car keys. Why don't you clean out my car? I got a wicked clean stain it. in the back seat. Yeah, I've got some stuff in the trunk and clean it up with. Uh, Simonize it. I'll be back in about two hours, and I'll, maybe I'll bring you a piece of pizza. Okay, Dad? Well, Dad, listen, thanks two, a lot. I hear my keys, and uh, be two, careful not to scratch the car. And I'll be back uh, in about two hours. Two okay? hours? You, yeah, i got to watch, watch the You're game. not going to bring... Well, you ungrateful... You, Esther said you were a worthless <laughs> sucking son of a... <laughs> Hell, you, you can't be my son. Nobody's that ungrateful. You <laughs> breath I'll take your and stain BMW and run that mother right into the damn river, you ass. You worth Nothing son gets of someone's a attention like a good dog. string of You're profanities. Pig faced. This message brought to you by the National Cursing Foundation. And remember our motto <laughs> go f yourself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Spring has sprung at the shoe Brandy, you're a fine girl. What a good one you would be. I love it when boys sing. <laughs> you guys make me just sick. I'm tired of sitting over here and have you all ignore me. Don't you have anything to say about me? Um. They do, but they don't want to say it. <laughs> oh, shut up. i got to smack the taste right out of your mouth. You just be quiet there. Here are some beautiful victims, and all victims are disposable. You guys have good mouths on you. I just love it when they hear you scream, you know? <laughs> I've never been well. told that before. <laughs> are those Allen wrenches around your neck? What is that jewelry? I don't know. These are handcuffs, baby, because I, no, I recognize the am handcuffs. the best in bondage. And I recognize the dog collar. Um, <laughs> What kind of insult's that, huh? What are you trying to say over there? Hmm. The obvious. Oh, nothing. Uh, anyway, <laughs> good morning. Um, you're with Bob and Charming. Tom. And um, this morning, uh, we're going to give away, in fact, right now, we're going to give away some tickets to the POW event this evening at the uh, Tyndall Armory. And uh, we have uh, six tickets to the show this evening. It begins at um, it begins at 7.30. And we've got mm -hmm. a full lineup of matches. We have, as a matter of fact, there are over 12 matches here, I believe. Wow. That's right. It'll be very exciting. There are indeed 12 matches set for this evening. Uh, and uh, I've asked Brandy May to come up with a trivia question so we can give these tickets to someone who really knows what's happening in POW. What's our question? All right. Let's see. How about who is the current POW champion? 
Okay. Who is the current POW champion? Okay, we'll go through nine calls to make it fair so you can all get through. 239-1095, who is the current POW champion? And um, You win six, all six Well, do you want to give them all six? Well, you give, you what, we'll give two away. Uh, want to give three sets of two? Well, well, we'll just uh, take three uh, three winners if they all know the answer, okay? Okay, so we'll give away three sets of two. That'll make it more fair so more people get to go. So we'll start with caller nine and go from there, okay? Okay, sounds good. It's 926 at Q95. <laughs> Uh, Bob and Tom in a cast of thousands this morning. Kind of a confusing day today. We're having a real good time. Our buddy George Lopez is back from Los Angeles. Uh, good morning, Jorge. Good morning. Jorge and Jorge and the Dixter over in the corner getting in trouble. Okay, Murray's in are. here. The Reverend's in here. Everybody's here. We also have two of the young ladies from POW, Hello? the powerful women of wrestling. We have the lovely Brandy May, who looks kind of like Ellie May. Mm -hmm. just, just put that together. <laughs> She's my cousin. Really? I've got some critters at my house you'd like to play with, I know. I like critters. Really? I've got two beautiful dogs and a cat. And <laughs> but you got critters that kind of need medication. To <laughs> uh, hey, George, how many bones have I thrown your way? Give me a break here, okay? You also, know, uh, no, no, don't make dick. Tom, I, I didn't want to interrupt, but George and I are... And Haji and I are all forming a, a new organization called PLOW. Instead plow. of plow, it's plow. Yeah, it's a uh, powerful lovers of wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can deliver. We can deliver a pile driver with the best of them. And also, we're working on some of our popular wrestling taunts. Listen to some of George's stuff. I'll meet you at the War Auditorium. And rip your head off. <laughs> hey, you tore my eye out. I couldn't see my kids play. <laughs> Brutal. I, I had a flat tire because of you. That's my kind of man, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, you know... You like fajitas? <laughs> these two women are very attractive. I have seen a couple of the other ones, and they shouldn't be in POW. They should be in the organization called SAL. <laughs> it stand for uh, Sagging Women of Wrestling. But, um, no, the ladies in POW certainly are very lovely. And I tell you what, we just gave away six tickets six tickets to uh, tonight's matches. You know, uh, and, Tom, excuse me. before you give away some of those tickets, I just wanted to say, have you ever noticed that, um, you know, their costumes a lot of times, well, what would you say that the main constituents of, of the fabrics of your costume are? Rayon? Uh, it's a lycra. Like we her. do a lot of stretching. Yeah, you know when the when the girls get into that pile driver thing, and you got to say to yourself, "Hey, how much abuse can lycra take?" Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Boy, yes. what a miracle fabric that is! Yeah. Yeah. You're Easy thinking care. about you're thinking about the lycra, Mister Dick. <laughs> well, you know, to me, your costume is not the best thing, but it's right next to it. You know, to me. <laughs> You know, but I, I say to myself, hey, that lycra, that's some easy care fabric, huh, George? <laughs> Dick, Dick, it isn't even time for the show yet. Wow. At least you remembered your name was Mr. Dick. <laughs> and I'm senior I Dick. think I talked to him before. Yes, you did. And what's your name, George? Senor Dick. Senor Dick? <laughs> <laughs> well, two dicks together. <laughs> two dicks Incredible. together. That's a, that's a party in my world. <laughs> 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 Tom, do you want to uh, tell us who our winners are, please? I think it's me and Dick. I, think it's I just want to zip up after he said he saw it. Huh? Um, let's see. Congratulations going out to Don Isaacs. We're the winner. Um, and believe it or not, we had one winner named Marcy West and another winner named Tom East. Incredible. The fans here are very knowledgeable. I was surprised. So yeah. They can get together with Oliver North and Joe South and... And all of them knew the Become a uh, answer. Map. I don't know. Right, what was baby. the answer there, Brandy? Uh, Nina. Nina is the Not answer. for long, not after tonight. I don't care what you think. You're all a bunch of Richard Dawkins. You're up against me. I know the ambush you have against me in this room. You just sit there and you go on and cater to Miss Brandy May. It doesn't matter to me one little bit because I've wrapped the chain around her head before, too. Pop! Uh, Take it easy. She had the audacity to call us Richard Noggins. I am really upset. <laughs> Hey, you're we're going to take a break. You ran from me. You ran from me in Cleveland. You stole my shoes in Wausau. Welcome to It Happened on Wednesday. Okay, catch 40. an opportunity. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, equal housing. Opportunity. Lender. Thank you. Opportunity. It's uh, 940 at Q95. Excuse me, Dick. That means me and Jorge can move right in. Dick, excuse me. You're... I thought his name was Chick. <laughs> so we're male homosexual lovers and one of us is a Mexican. I don't care. I'm moving into any neighborhood I want. Excuse me. Brand Brandy May is confused. This is this is Mr. Dick. But, no, but he said his name was Dick, too. No, no, no. no. He was just his kidding. His name is That's George. Senor Dick. That's oh. mm -hmm. George, George speaks Spanish. Do you speak Spanish? Mm, 
Un poquito. Oh, yeah. A little bit. It's dirty, but it's the language of love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, um, it's the language of car theft. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dick, for that, for that typically, typically racist remark mm -hmm. from the likes of a Dick Nixon. Luna is also here. Good morning once again, Luna. Oh, I just found out something about Luna. What you found out about Luna? Great family. I know. I was just reading this bio. Can I review some of this here? Oh, go for it. Go it says for it. Luna from the violent back streets of the Bronx. She dresses. It's a lie. I'm not from the Bronx. I'm from the other side of darkness. Let's get that right. Oh, that. sorry. <laughs> yeah, isn't that a theme? Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in my neighborhood. <laughs> uh, Luna dresses in black leather, complete with chains and whips. She stops at nothing to bring her opponents to their knees. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Sounds like Bob's sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That would be sort of a. Uh, so, what, no, sorry. Uh, she, she's known as one of the most ruthless and unforgiving sadistic lady wrestlers of our time. Luna comes from the famous wrestling family, the Vachons. Yeah, it's the Vachon family. We're the first family of professional wrestling. Don't insult me by saying it wrong. It's Vachon molds. Vachon. I assumed it was French. Uh, yeah, you Tom, got that French, right. of course, the language of the obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, of course, you can look that up in any almanac. That's right. Her <laughs> uncle is Butcher Vachon. Another oh. tough guy. And her father. Uh, he works over at Cub Foods, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, boy, you can really make, make a pot farm. roast. Yeah. <laughs> her father is um, Mad Dog Vachon. Yeah, I yeah. saw him over at the Amazing you know, Society. You know, we have a we have a disc jockey here named Jimmy Mad Dog Matus. Mm -hmm. Well, where is it? Seems like you bring one of my kind in here this morning, but oh no, I get stuck with the obnoxious crew, don't I? <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't no, know no where dog is. Problem, pussy cat. <laughs> <laughs> Who you calling pussy cat? <laughs> So how would a how would a Mexican deal with a woman like this, George? We marry, marry her. Marry her. <laughs> <laughs> the man's got taste amongst other things. <laughs> it says you've wrestled all over the world. In Italy, Australia, England, and Japan. I'm one half of the world tag team champion, and I have represented my title everywhere. And I'm here tonight. And I'm going up for the championship against Needle. Nina, Needle, Needle. Ah, she's going to need some help when I get rid of her. Yeah, that at microphone need to be wiped off. Too. Kindle Armory. Yeah. She's spitting all over the microphone yeah. and all over the table. You just sit there and be quiet. Is that pea soup or phlegm? Yeah. Quick, throw some water on her and let's watch her melt. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget this. Uh, so wicked, so wicked. Don't forget, we're doing, we're doing something today called a last-minute rush. Uh, Libby Zabriskie and Jimmy Mad Dog made us leave away a pair of rush tickets every hour, so be sure to stick around for that. We're going to come back with the fabulous Dick's Picks Billboard Sports segment of our show as we kind of wind up a very sporting Wednesday morning. Uh, Bob, can I borrow your golf towel? <laughs> sure, Dick, no problem. It's uh, 944 Q95. Uh, good morning, Q95. Is this the castle? Just the castle? Oh, yeah! yeah. Yes, indeed it is. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. This is indeed the Q95 cash song. You are caller number nine. You win $95. Who is this? This is Sherry Heston. Sherry. Sherry Heston. Where are you calling from this morning, Sherry? Uh, at Keystone in the Crossing. Oh, really? It sounds like you're calling from Peoria. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's okay. What are you doing up at Keystone at the Crossing? I'm a secretary. Okay. Are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. At a, at a business? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, great. Listen, you've got 95 bucks. We're going to try to give an extra $100. Do you ever wrestle? No. <laughs> oh, even for fun? Well, I did take judo once. Did you really? Uh-huh. Hmm. I guess hmm. that would be handy in your profession, wouldn't it, Definitely. Ladies? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you put that down on your resume? <laughs> yes, I take dictation. No. Uh, judo. I judo. Oh, yeah, karate. I, uh, Do judo. <laughs> well, uh, the reason we're asking is because we have uh, two of the lovely ladies from Powell with us. Have you been listening? Uh -huh. Did you hear the girls Hi, talking? Sure. Hi. Don't they, don't they sound sweet? Yeah. Well, at least one of them sounds sweet. <laughs> there you go again. There you go again. Luna. Richard. Keep Nye. it up. I hope you're sitting ringside tonight. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll protect you, Tommy. Well, in that case, maybe I will sit ringside. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sherry, we're going to give you a chance for an extra hundred bucks, okay? Okay. No, we have several categories. Bob, your category is? Uh, do, uh, let me see. What did I do yesterday? I don't remember what I did yesterday. You played golf. No, I did that day before yesterday. Um, TV? TV trivia, why not? Yeah, if Bob's watched enough TV in his life, he should be able to come up with something. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, Luna, your category is? Wrestling. Brandy May, your category is? Oh, I'll do wrestling, too. Chick? Okay. 
Sports! Do, are you going to do wrestling also, Chick? Well, I was going to do them, but no, I mean, uh, uh, sports, yeah. I'll do, and I'll do movies. Which one do you like? Okay, uh... Wrestling, wrestling, sports, movies, or TV? Hmm, I'll try Bob's TV trivia. TV I hope trivia? I hope it's easy. <laughs> okay, uh, I think, do you ever watch the show ALF? Yeah. Who plays the daughter on ALF? What's her name? Oh, oh. <laughs> the name of the actress or the name of the character? Na the name of the actress. You want the name of the actress? Well, I, watch yes. I, don't, I don't even know, and I watch the show every week. You don't? She's cute. Um, She's a cute girl. Uh, oh, give me a hint. <laughs> yeah, give her a hint. That's All a right, pretty tough her question. initials are A-E. A-E. Mm -hmm. um, Albert Einstein? <laughs> <laughs> wow, he looks good, doesn't he? Good huh? makeup. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, tell you what. Uh -huh. I'll, 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 I'll do this. Just name any one of the actors who appears in the show, Alf. Okay. Um, Come in. Benjamin. Um, Benjamin? Wait a minute. It's close. It's close. Benji Gregory. Yeah, that's the young there son. You that's right. That's good. Andrea Yay. Elson. Andrea Elson is the uh, Bob, daughter. That's Bob Andrea Gregory's Elson. illegitimate son. Okay. I, I watch that every week. I love that show. It's a great <laughs> show. Bob Gregory does not have an illegitimate Since son. Since you're an Alf fan, you deserve the $100. 195 bucks for you, Sherry, all right? Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, listen, we're going to ask you to hold on for a second, and maybe more than a second, too, because we have the Dick's Picks billboard segment here, so don't go anywhere, okay? Okay. Can you hold the phone for a while and not okay. get in trouble with the boss? No, I won't get in trouble. Okay, okay well, you okay, hold on. Great. Don't go anywhere. What's your boss's name? Uh, Bob, uh, Bill Sager. Can't Bill. Think. Oh, that idiot. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Dick, Dick, shut up. We're trying, to, we're trying to get her so she won't get in trouble with her boss. What's his name again? Bill Sager? Uh-huh. The man's a saint. I've met him before. What a, a nice guy. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever met him? No, no I haven't. Isn't he the guy that uh, got in trouble for paying under minimum wage? No. Uh, Dick. Dick. Shut up. We're going to put you on hold before you get in trouble, okay? <laughs> okay. Don't go anywhere. <sighs> Jeez. I guess uh, two twenty-five an hour is not all that bad. <laughs> Dick. Dick. What? Now, I think we should take a break because I don't want to do it. I know what's going to happen here. We'll get going with don't, these girls and you'll never shut up. Don't you want to do like a kind of a nutty billboard? No. Here? I think we should do a quick, short Dick's Picks billboard and then come back with the girls for the Dick's Picks sports okay, show. Okay, well, we have uh, two lovely ladies today. We have Nina. Say hi, Nina. Right? Am I, am I, am I, it's the name Luna. 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 Oh. That's some kind of mistake to make this early in the morning. You know, to me, I just, you know. Callus is on the brain. I understand, Noggin. I understand. You know, I I was just. Noggin. What happened is uh, Richard yeah. Noggin. Yeah. yeah, see, the bad thing about it is I just got through seeing this powerful woman of wrestling magazine and, and seeing. Uh, your opponent tonight dressed in a bikini, and I... I that, 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 that can't get it out so good anymore, huh? I, I guess my brain endorphins just shut down on that one. But, uh, actually, you're you're much more attractive, and... Uh, yeah, you got that, oh, right? You know, yeah. my mama told me, limit the time you spend with fools today, so hurry up and get this over with. <laughs> and I love I love the whole the spike jewelry look. That That's my favorite. Yeah, baby, I'd like to step on your face with my spikes. Hey, you can't take that from her, Mr. Dick. <laughs> that's oh, I right. I certainly could. I could take about as much of it as I could. <laughs> well, you've got one guest that wants to step on your face and one, well, I was going to use the word <laughs> And, of course, we have the uh, charming and delightful Brandy May. Oh, thank you, Mr. Dick. You know, uh, the only thing that I would say, you know, I've, your wrestling costume is quite attractive. It's just that I was kind of thinking that maybe instead of sort of a, a sash belt that you might go the kind of the rope belt look. And I'll tell you why. Because when I used to watch Beverly Hillbillies, Mm -hmm. I just had a real hankering for uh, Ellie Mae. And, you know, I, I got to the point where I couldn't even date a woman unless she was wearing a rope belt. <laughs> and came out of a barn, right? Yeah, I know your type. <laughs> Bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dick, I'll tell you what. We've, we've met the girls, and we'll come back and have a nice discussion with them when we come back with that fabulous sports show, Dick Spitz. Hold your fire! Yeah. Nope, Haji, that's fine. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> don't, you, don't you love the little diaper? Haji, your little Haji's, suit? Haji's little, Haji's little diaper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little baggy. Oh, that's good. Change it, quick! Let me take it out. <laughs> could, we, could we all just pause for one moment? Uh, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Tom, we're not going to play Name That Tune now? <laughs> I have an idea, since we're not going to do that. Let's have Pardo introduce Dick. What a grand idea. 
ladies and gentlemen, the former president of the United States, Dick Nixon, with that fabulous sports show, Dick's Picks. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Don Pardo. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed, Mr. Dick. You know, uh, Brandy just thought she was just sitting next to some old man, and then now she knows I'm a president. and Former president. Yeah. And, it's uh, so exciting. You know, and uh, Brandy, a little bit later on, if you could help me find my World Series ring, you know, I, <laughs> I, I was in the 54 Series, the year Joe Garagiola got got the brush back pitch and lost most of his hair. <laughs> and uh, You may yeah. recall that game. That's where Joe Garagiola forgot to wear a cup and, well, the rest is history. Let's just say it added no meaning to the term base on balls. He took, he took a few balls on the chin, too. You know, that was before the full full coverage of catcher's mask. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. And also our special guest today, uh, Luna. Tell oh, baby. Good morning, dear. I'm awake, alive and awake, Indianapolis. Here we are. Did your eyebrow pencil slip, or are those just gr gross veins? Those are my veins? veins, baby. Those are my veins. You know, the kabuki look is so in, isn't it? <laughs> noggins, noggins. <laughs> you know, to me, that kabuki look never died out. And the fact no. that it's coming back. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Max Factor used to do uh, Luna's makeup, and uh, then Max, of course, passed on. Uh, well, yeah. they would think it was during one of Luna's makeup sessions. His heart just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know that's right. You know that's right. <laughs> you know, uh, so uh, we have these uh, two wonderful, powerful women of wrestlers, uh, women of wrestling in our studio. Yeah. And, uh, of course, they'll be uh, wrestling tonight at that, uh, that, uh, ever, Armory. that ever popular place, the Tyndall Armory. Uh, that's used to be where the army used to store their armpits. That's why they call it the armory. It's Dick. Kind, of, kind of a nutty thing. I, let's get, could we get right to the? You know, they tried to develop the armpit. The sea material. They tried to develop the armpit as a secret weapon <laughs> during the war. <laughs> Scary. You get a guy in a, like what you do is you don't launder that particular portion of your body for about a week. Then you get someone like in a head hold. Mm -hmm. Really hurts. Yeah. You kill him. <laughs> you know what's you know what's you know you know what's my favorite uh, wrestling hold, and I'll pass it along to you, ladies. Um, flying head scissors, more than likely. I love the flying head scissors. You know, <laughs> except for I usually like to usually like to bring my snorkel along for that one. But uh, no, my, my dick. My favorite <laughs> is the Hertz donut. Now, have you ever? <laughs> Hurts donut. Hurts donut. Hurts. Yeah, what it is is like you, you go up to like your opponent and you go, "Hey, would you like a Hertz donut?" Well, of course, everyone loves pastries, right? So they think you're going to be offering them a delightful, maybe like fresh yeast donut. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you just knee them in the groin and you go, "Hertz donut." <laughs> You're finally waking up over there. You know, I, God, how I love that. Now, have you girls ever um, experienced uh, the purple Herbie? Uh, you stepped in what up to your neck? The, um, the purple Herbie. Purple Herbie. What's that, Tom? Well, oh, wait a minute. I got a copter coming in. Hang on just one second. <laughs> it's a guy from Fort Bend. Yeah. <laughs> they want to see you girls so yeah. much that they mm -hmm. drove over. Um, I'll explain this in just a second here. Okay, thank you. Uh, the Purple Herbie. It's uh, sometimes known as the... Uh, twister. Uh, blank Twister. Mm -hmm. So you go up to someone and grab them in the nipple area mm -hmm. and twist thusly. Also, the, I can see the girls Tom, are The reason why cringing. Tom's pointing that out is he would like for you to hold him down later and perform that act upon him. So. <laughs> what, I was going to say, where have you guys learned such strange holes? The other side of darkness, I'm sure, I'm sure. I know I've seen these guys before. That's a, that's a classic, a classic uh, schoolboy mm -hmm. wrestling hold, the famous Purple Herbie, also known as the uh, uh, Blank Twister. twister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you guys, uh, have you guys ever used the sleeper hold? Yeah, that's a very popular one I use. Why do you want it applied to I was thinking, like, maybe later on, uh, on the couch bed in my office, if you could demonstrate <laughs> that, that would be kind of nice. Now, have you introduced the girls, for those that just tuned into the Dick's Pick Show, do they even know who they're, who they're listening to right now? Oh, and don't say Nina, because you got that one wrong, for I know, sure. I, I, I slipped up, and no one feels worse than I do when a mistake happens on the Dick's Pick Sports Show. <laughs> Well, Dick, would you do the introductions, please, one more time? Okay, we have two of the gorgeous, powerful women of wrestling. We have, of course, delightful Brandy May and... Hello, everyone. ...the ever-popular, leather-clad Luna. Hello, good morning. Have you morning. noticed what Luna has in her uh, left hand? I thought that was a scale model of George Lopez, but I, a closer <laughs> examination 
It's a snake. Yes, it is. <laughs> and that's a... What, it's an what, enormous... What kind, of a, what kind of a snake is that, uh, Luna? Uh, this is Nave, and Nave's a boa constrictor. And, of course, boa constrictors, what they do is they like to squeeze their prey to death, then eat them. Mm -hmm. And, boy, you know, Luna and I last night were kind of doing this real muddy thing. Where I said, uh, don't squeeze me to death, just squeeze me till I pass out. <laughs> And then eat me. And then I said, um, <laughs> just kind of a nutty thing. Kind of a National Geographic thing we were doing last he night. He squeals huh? so good when he's hanging from a closet. <laughs> you know, I, when the paramedics arrived to let me out of the closet, mm -hmm. I just felt a lot better. <laughs> oh, there's there's been a slight interruption. Oh. Order. Do we, yeah, we have a special guest who's going to call. Well, who's this calling a, right now? Oh, okay, really? We have a special guest. Mm -hmm. Okay, who is it? Or not? Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, morning, Q95. Hello. Hello. This is Al Jr. Hey, Al. Al, how are you? Okay, how's it going? <laughs> We're great. Going good. Hey, where are you anyway? I'm here in Indianapolis. Oh, oh you really? great. Oh, yeah, I'm at my condo right now, and listen, turned on the radio, and you guys are on, so I thought I'd call you and see how's it going. Well, life's, great. Life's hell, isn't it, little Al? Al Unser Jr. is in the phone. Last time we saw you, uh, Al, um, I was wearing brown pants, uh, <laughs> but I started with a pair of blue ones. Uh, you took us around the uh, track. We did that at lap. high speeds. That's part of that one. That was great. I'm yeah. still talking about that. In fact, everybody's still talking about that. All right. Well, how's your How's your car and everything going? What's happening? Uh, going good. We just got done testing in Phoenix and.